It's the second brew on the pint of two, and it's Space Hopper's big sister, Big Dipper. Now, much like Space Hopper, the Big Dipper is a higher ABV, and therefore it's a bit harder to mix. And I know people had issues with Space Hopper when they were brewing that in their pint of one, and I think similar things have happened with the Big Dipper in pint of two. Um, what I'm going to do, rather than follow the instructions, is I'm going to brew in my jug. I'm going to mix it in my jug to begin with, just like I did with my last pint of one um, brew that I'd done. Um, I've used this sanitizer from the pinter, so I've poured, I've cleaned the um, pinter, and then all the sanitizer's gone into the jug, and I've put in there my hydrometer, and I've also put in a mixing spoon. So everything is now sanitized, and I can get ready to do this. <laughs> First step with this is I've got a kettle that lets me boil to different temperatures. So even when I'm sanitizing, I only go up to 60 degrees on the kettle. You should never put anything over 100 degrees or 80 degrees even anywhere near the pinter because there is plastic parts in there and they will probably melt or deform over time. So I've boiled the kettle and I'm gonna pour in about a liter of liquid to begin with that's at 60 degrees. And then I'm gonna open my big dipper and get some of this out into that jug and start mixing it. For once the foil seal is actually still intact correctly. It smells very, very malty. Oh, and a nice little hop hit on it as well. So let's pour this in and uh, stir as well at the same time. There's no need to try and attempt to pour all of the extract into the um, jug at once. Um, I always recommend putting some hot water in here and probably flushing it out with hot water twice to make sure you get all of that malt extract out. We want all of it so that we can hit as close to that ABV, 7% approx, as we can. So I've given that a good mix and good stir. The kettle's boiled again, and I'm gonna pour a bit of that in here. Again, when I say board, I mean it's got up to 60. So get a nice amount in here, get the lid, close it, and you'll feel, even though the, this is 60, so you still feel the heat of it, and the pack may expand slightly from the heat going in there. Just roll it around. Get that extract out and repeat. You can see the color is much lighter now on the pouring out. We've got a little bit of foam on there. And then if you look in, won't be able to see on camera, but that now is empty and smelling nice. So I'm gonna carry on stirring and mixing this in here. This actually removes any need for shaking the pinter, which means that there's less potential issues with the inside plastic. It's like a Fermos is the way to think of it. So if you're shaking it about that inner part may become loose over time and you don't want to ruin that and you don't want that happening, it'll ruin your pinter. Um, and also that's actually quite heavy and chucking in even more water into it makes it a very heavy object. Another handy thing for me on this is I'm not going to um, add any additional sugars to increase the ABV. I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to short brew. So I'm aiming to only put up to maybe four litres of water into this, or it won't even be four litres, it'll be four litres including the extract. And I'll take a hydrometer reading, see what's coming out at, and then maybe add a bit more water to reduce if it's too much. Right, time to get some cold water in. Just check in the bottom, uh, pull from the bottom upwards, just make sure that there is no syrup in there. This is all nicely mixed, it's all liquid. As you pull up, you can see there's no clumps of syrup. That is now perfect for me. I no longer require use of the spoon. I'd sanitized my hydrometer earlier and I just left it inside one of the other sanitized items. I'm going to take a reading on this. The temperature has dropped down. And let's get a starting reading on this to see how high ABV it is currently looking it may come out as. So at the moment, this is coming at just under 1090, meaning in its current form, if this 
got all the way down to even 1010, this is gonna be a 10% double IPA. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. It's not gonna reduce it too much, but it might bring it down to about nine and a half percent. So I'm just gonna add a bit more. Right, I've added a bit more water, about 4.2 liters of um, actual overall um, product here. And the measurement is about 1082, 1080. So that's just under nine and a half. So perfect for me. Um, well, for what I'm aiming to go for here, let's get this into the pinter. quite a bit short of the uh, black fill line they normally aim for and uh, I did spill a little bit on the floor actually. I did lose a little on the pour there, I probably should have used my funnel but I was too lazy to bother go sanitise it, um, but that's fine. I've added yeast, I've not bothered hydrating it, I'm just putting it in as it is. The solution is at a nice temperature, I'm not using cold water, it's about 22 right now, um, which is perfect for this. Time to put on the main cap and then the dock. see the bit of spillage I made. <laughs> so I'm going to follow the instructions on the box for this one. So that's five days brewing. Then I'm going to do a one day cold crash. Then I'll put in the hop oil, the hop extract that they've got. Then it's three days conditioning in the fridge, but you're not going to have to wait eight, nine days for the review. That is going to be coming along in just a day's time. Take care everyone.